I don't want to grow up. I'm a PMS kid. I just want to ski off stuff and fly like Shane did. Every march in Squaw Valley, that's the place where you should rally for the greatest competition there is. Oh, I don't want to grow up, cause baby, if I did, I wouldn't be a BMS kid. We have a 10-year video that's going to take you through 10 years of the PMS. So let's go with the welcome video right now. Let's kick it off, gentlemen and ladies. Shane McConkie. Shane McConkie. Shane McConkie. Shane McConkie. Have lots of great memories of Shane. Shane McConkie. Shane McConkie faces. Shane McConkie faces. Always make funny faces. Favorite thing about Shane McConkie would just have to have the energy that he brought to the whole world. Obviously, this means to the sport of skiing. But when I think of Shane, I just think of talent. Oh my gosh, this guy's got the energy that I want to be around. I imagine fun. Ridiculously funny. Having a lot of fun, which I think life's all about. Thank you. 
so, so fun, fun, but more than, than that, that, he like he took serious out of it. Out of it. Like Shane, Shane did this this one time. When he skied the mobile course naked. And they ejected him from that based on their man man rules. I'm like, dude, make naked spread eagle. Middle of the mobile course. And upset the judge that he got kicked out of bail. Oh, and that was now it's moving this time. Shane did that. Shane was just always having a good time. Being a good, Being a good kid. kid. The coolest ski segment, segment ever, ever is Shane's James, James Bond segment. segment. James, James Bond. Bond. Hot babe Sherry. Sherry. It had bombs, bombs explosions. 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 Big, big gun, gun, squid, squid. Bad, Bad guys. guys. And a death-defying death exit. exit. Tandem with Miles, Miles Dash. 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 We did a rope swing off, off, off at Bridge Day. Day. Catapult, Catapult jump, 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 rope swinging swing off, off each other. I mean, talk about pure insane. Such a sense of work. Always a jackass. Saucer boy. Saucer boy. Classic saucer boy. Like big bottle of whiskey and snowblades. Kindest kind of soul, soul you could be while living while life, life to the fullest of the man and man that just made, made the whole world go slash track jump. Shane McConnell was a hero to so many. Hero to me. He was just unbelievably talented. Follow my dreams, chase your passion, make a living doing crazy things. I truly miss his antics. His. Selena, his laughs. He's such an He's amazing, such amazing friend, friend and uh, husband, and father. father. Thanks, Shane, Thanks, Shane. leading the way. Shane McConkey rules. I miss that guy like crazy. Miss you, miss brother. brother. Love, 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 He was one of those once-in-a-generation type people. Anybody who met them felt like they were his best friend. He really made you, made you feel welcome. But at the same time, he was the funniest person in the room, and he made everyone better. And it's a shame that it's been 15 years since he's made us laugh in person. But what an incredible person Shane McConkey was, and an incredible person Shane McConkey is or representing is Sherry McConkey. And we need to get Sherry McConkey to come up here real quick to say a few words because she does so much to make this event happen year in and year out, and it is not easy. And she starts this in November, and it's four months of planning, and here is Sherry McConkey. Oh, hi, everyone. Thank you so much for coming today. And uh, there's so many people to say thank you to, um, and I know I'm going to forget somebody, so I... I hate this. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I had to run. Um, yeah, first of all, I'd say I'd like to say thank you to the volunteers because I couldn't do it without them. Emma, my assistant, and then there's all the people on my board, um, and then we'll go to the sponsors and all the raffle donors. There's so many people, and I hope you see what they do on we tag them and we we put them up on everything we can possibly do just to say thank you so it means so much to me um one thing i want to tell you guys is we do a few programs one of them is called huh <laughs> um one of the programs is called don't drop the top and uh we ask everybody to bring clean tops and drop them off at the New Moons and um, the New Moon grocery store or the pool, the Truckee pool or the Truckee, um, what's it called? The Truckee um, uh, town hall. And then once we do that, we collect the lids and we get a volunt volunteers to help us sort it out. And we make these beautiful benches. And um, last in the last two years, we've collected over 3,500 pounds of lids which is pretty insane, and that would go in the landfill. And then, and then we've donated close, to, I always say close to a million, but it's, it's almost close to a million, uh, to a lot of different foundations. And um, we also do a lot of good things. We help a lot of people, and I'm not going to bore you with that, but look at our website at shanemcconkey.org. And uh, then uh, the biggest thing is, you guys and everyone who come and enter the Pain McFlonky, it's a big deal for me. It's super stressful because all I'm scared about is people getting hurt. And that was good today. No one got hurt, I hope. 
And um, then all of you guys. So thank you so much for coming. And am I and, and every year we give a big chunk of money to somebody we choose. And this year, in honor of uh, Rob Gaffney, come stand here with me, Ella. Um, um, get up here with me. Don't let the ball. Um, in honor of Rob Gaffney, we are going to give to Gateway, and I'll call up Mike to come and say a few words. Um, he does so much for our community, and I'd love him to share a little bit more about why, uh, about Rob, and of what they do. I'll come back in a second. Well, all right. Oh, thank you so much, everybody, for showing up for this incredible event. So... It's so, it means so much to get an award in honor of Rob, Dr. Gaffney. I met him in 2004 because I needed a really good psychiatrist and he was an amazing one. That's a longer story than I have time to tell. But um, I circled back to him in 2011 because we were offered to apply for a grant for innovation and mental health treatment. And we started our program by writing that grant called Whole Hearts, Minds and Bodies nature-based therapeutic mentoring. And I asked Rob to write the letter of support. And it was really good timing, because right about then he stopped, he stopped treating children because he was so tired of the pressure he was getting from parents to put kids on medication. And he was really behind our alternative to that, doing, using, our slogan is out of the clinic, into the woods. And um, yeah, so, so Rob was, the first supporter wrote an amazing letter of support and the state of California awarded us that grant. Cut to today, just two months ago, the state of California gave us, gave us a grant to take this to San Francisco to prove it in the big city. And so um, it means a lot and we're, we really miss Rob and um, he was an incredible healer and a, a force of nature to preserve nature. So thank you so much to the McConkie Foundation. Emma, now we have something that Sherry McConkie is not expecting at all, and it is something that is totally going to throw her for a loop, and I don't know if you've followed her on social media recently, but I have, and now I'm going to get this fruit basket that I need to read out of, but let me pull this up. That was almost high. Can I hold it? That is a question. No, I cannot. So, Sherry put up on her social media recently... I'm going to read off the side of this, Ayla, so I'm just going to look at it for a second. She put on a video on her social media that just showed a news report, and she was one of four women that was brought up for an award. And this award, which I'm looking for, is the Next Star Media 2020 Tour Fox News Award. And Sherry is up for it, and on April 2nd is when they are going to pick the woman that goes into the national contest of who wins this award. And Sherry does so much with her time to make a difference in so many lives. And Sherry McConkie, we have the Fruit of the Spirit Award right here for you. It is full of fruit. We need to thank Greg for making this happen. But an award for Sherry McConkie! There is a lot of fruit in there, and it is all fresh. So if you don't want to eat it, just send it around, and you can take the bowl back with you. All right, so that's a Sherry Award right there that she was not expecting. On April 2nd, she will find out if she's a winner or if she's a loser. But we hope she's going to be a winner. Something that we have this year that we have never had before is a replay of this event. Because when you look at the PMS from the bottom of the mountain, we see all the athletes come into view, but you really can't see what is going on. But this year, we had a drone pilot out there getting footage so we could all watch the carnage here. And let me tell you, 18 inches up top, 90 centimeter ski blades out there. There was a lot of punch fronting going on all day 
day long. Everyone tomahawked. It seemed like all day long. No injuries, but a lot of carnage. I'm excited to see it. So can we cue the race and see the PMS for the first time at the after party? Should be a few punch brats out here, I think. <laughs> What do you think about that race footage? Outstanding. I gotta say, I've seen some wild sports, but the wildest thing that I ever saw was what I just saw right there. Would you guys agree that is the wildest thing you've seen? Well, I love the fact that we were able to replay it and everybody was able to see it. And there were a whole lot of winners, but there were a whole lot more losers. And we are going to celebrate all of you today. So now it is time to go into our awards ceremony for this PMS Classic. And we are going to start out with our women. And it is International Snowblade Day, as you all know. But more importantly, it's International Women's Month. And while I don't think anybody needs a month, women do because us men have been taking everything and we're terrible. So now we have a women's month and that is important. If you listen to podcasts, which I have one I'm going to promote, I did all four women this month because it's International Women's Month. So I'm just going to toot my own horn. Toot, toot. But either way, it is now time for these awards. And we are going to go in third place with our women. So if you know you've won, you're going to end up coming up here on the podium. I'm going to clear it. Our third place finisher, our second loser is Liz Fontaine. Fontaine.
All right, Liz Fontaine snaking her way through the crowd right now. Here comes Liz Fontaine. She was in the mushroom outfit, which is a very nice mushroom outfit. She's showing what is underneath to some of the crowd in front. Liz, yeah, you're third place, so you can step up there. Get on the podium, or you might as well. Yeah, it's your worst nightmare being on the podium. Liz, let's give you even a worse nightmare. Liz, can you take the mic for a couple of seconds and talk to the crowd? Oh, she said it's her worst nightmare, so I was trying to make it even worse. But that doesn't happen. I'm sorry, Liz. In second place, Ashley Pena! All right, Ashley in second place. She's got rocket boosters on her back, but they were not fast enough to get her to beat our winner. And three time back to back to back, Payne McSlunky Classic Champion. I am talking about Olympian. I am talking about World Extreme Champion. I am talking about Wendy Fisher. And we also have to thank Luke, Luke Jacobson from Moment for sponsoring Wendy and convincing her to come on out here because that's why she's got her third golden saucer in a row. So that is our women's podium and they definitely earned it. It's a big podium, so you do have to jump off like from pretty high up. I felt it in my knees, but it seems like you guys are quite all right. Now, it is time for the men's PMS winners. In third place, hailing from parts unknown, Blaze Biblioleka! All right, Blaze coming up there with a modified ski. He is all about the tip right there, no tail, just the tip all day long. So Blaze, he's Getting up there a little shakily. You don't hear the second loser getting that many cheers that often, but you do hear at the PMS, our second place competitor is Nick Overrider. And I need to tell you that the Golden Saucers were built by Justin Self that the spatula and greater trophies were made by Jonathan Miller. And I'll tell you about some other awards later on. All right, Podium Brothers, kind of like Tunnel Brothers, but different. If you get that one, you're laughing. Either way, we're gonna go to our final, our winner, our first place competitor. He's walking home with a golden saucer. I'm talking about Ryan Fire. All right, hot fire coming up here right now. He's wearing that dare to resist to keep kids off drugs. That's what we do. We keep them off drugs and on the hill. There we go, Ryan Afaya. Gentlemen. All right, I think that's enough time on the podium. I mean, you could take longer if I were on there. I'd stay as long as I possibly could. But that is it. Those are our men's winners. They are now getting... I don't even know what... They're being hydrated with something. I have no idea what those things are or why they are on the podium, but they are. All right, they have no idea what they just drank, 
Fellas, that'll kick in in about 25 minutes. Uh, our men's winners having fun up there, drinking out of whatever they were drinking out of. That was quite odd, but a first, another first here at the BMS. Now is really why we are all here. This is about fundraising. Yeah, it's about celebrating an amazing person and making a difference, but it's also about raising funds and changing the lives of kids and a lot of people in this world. So the crowdfunding is what we're up to now. and. Oh, so those things that they were drinking were collagen powdered water. Yep, so it's water with powder in it that has collagen, and that is good for your nails and your hair, and it might even make you see better. But I'm making all of this up right now. Now we're going to go in to our crowdfunding awards. Our third place uh, finisher in this crowdfunding, she has won three golden saucers in a row that's being showered with golden saucers if you know what i mean i am talking about wendy fisher All right, in second place in fundraising. And I'll let you know, Wendy raised $1,875. So very nice there. In second place, almost doubling Wendy Fisher. He is one of the major sponsors of the event today. We saw him come down with a wake skate and a life jacket, and it wasn't pretty. I am talking about Don Wallace. Don raised $3,130. Don Wallace also runs everything at Liquid Force Wakeboards. If you want a wakeboard, just ask Don. He'll probably give you one for free. And our winner of the crowd funded, well, so this is supposed to be the winner of the crowdfunding award. And the gentleman who won this, he, was a, he donated a lot of his own money to, to win this. So I'm taking this upon myself to try to up the ante and have my buddy Don win this. Why? Because I'm on the mic. B, I thought about this last week and I was like, how can I make this funny? And C, I'm going to do it. So Don, here's the deal. We're going to try to get $1,000 out of the crowd because I know that you have had that beard for how long? 15 years, Don. I have brought my clippers. Do you love kids? Do you love Shane McConkey? Are you saying no? Sherry, look at this. He is not going to shave his... I don't want you to donate more, Don. I want you to shave your beard. Can we get $1,000 for Don to shave his beard? I'll, Don, I'll shave my mustache if you shave your beard. Oh, and a Jones snowboard? Oh, so here we go. Susan was against it. What? I, do you really want me to ask you to shave in front of the crowd, Wendy? I mean, that'd be super awkward. I mean, I didn't even know how to do that without getting in trouble. Jesus, Wendy. All right, this is going to take too long. His, his wife doesn't want him to, to shave his beard. And his wife could beat me up. She is an MMA fighter with the nickname Big Guns. No joke. Straight up, she fights in big Madison Square Garden type places. So that is not going to happen. So I am not going to shave anyone nor myself. I am disappointed. But our winner is going to come up here. He has won this before, I believe. He has donated a lot of his own money, which is impressive. I am talking about Chuck Tennant who has donated $3,990. This is the most important award of the day, except for the next award I give out. So, Chuck Tennant right there, winning the most and winning the fundraiser.
The bubbles are in the air. Rusty, would you have shaved your beard for your mustache for a thousand bucks? $69,000 and Rusty would have done it. All right, so those are our men's winners here. And if you're watching the live stream and there's little breaks in the action, sorry about that. That's what happens sometimes. So we've got winners. They've got their prizes at Jones Snowboards going out. I know there was a, a wakeboard as well. So lots of different things going out. But now, all right, they're getting their prizes. Now it is time for our videos. It is International Snowblade Day, and we had videos submitted to us and pictures submitted, and we were able to whittle down the 437 submissions that we had. Yeah, I lied about that too. There was not even close to that many. But yeah, I mean, sometimes I've got to fudge some numbers just to make you guys excited. So I'm telling the truth at least. But either way, we narrowed it down to make it eight submissions. So we have eight that we're going to show you. Then we are going to narrow it down to three and or four, I believe. And then you are going to crowdsource our winner for the video and image contest for International Snowblade Day. So let's cue these things up right now. I would like to see more ski in the moonwalk lifted up, but that's just me personally. Some of these videos are a little longer than the others, but you can see the effort put in by these snowbladers. They're leaving it all on the hill. So that was the first of our videos. Now we see the bubbles in the air. We are getting ready to see video number two. And I will tell you, this one's going to be just as entertaining as the last one. A day in the life of a snowblader. Collab creations, bump like agony, no doubt. I put it down, never slouch. As long as my credit can vouch, a dog couldn't catch me. And doing this is not recommended because it can mess up your base. And we know that all snowblades need a good base. So doing laundry, heading downstairs, just sitting there ripping one is not a good idea. Now driving with snowblades is okay. It's actually not that big of a deal. Much safer than texting and driving. And then just that look, it says, I like the snowblade, but I'm here to party. All right, so that was video number two. And here we go with our photo, our first photo entry right there. This is just saying, I have snowblades on and I'm gonna push my hips out. Perfect this past year again. again. I didn't know this know one is a long one. Yes. We've got three I'm minutes here, more and, more and I think you're gonna enjoy like this. Donnie, it kind of mimics Joey, a segment Connor, that you've seen from a comp game. So here's Isaac. Like me. Me. Donnie and I and I this year, year on who could take the W. And I was beginning to think I could win. As this winter went on, I started hearing this voice and seeing visions and feeling this crazy guiding force. Who am I? No matter where I went, there was this blast from the past and I just couldn't shake it. But it reminded me who I am and why I'm here. And it was just the inspiration I needed. So Johnny, I wanna hold on to this. Cause I'm Isaac Kaufman, damn it. And I'm not done yet.
standing in the rain with his head hung low couldn't get a ticket it was a sold out show heard the roar of the crowd he could picture the scene put his Isaac you can do it a lot of time on his hands i will tell you that right there that was a three minute from isaac kaufman and he hit all the different angles there very nice great style on those laid back flips on those snow blades you don't see that every day except for on international snow blade day so let's go into our next video as soon as we can cue it up and it's not it's the truck driver right there the blade per grade getting that photo getting both the grabs it's not a tickle it's a full grab on both hands and you love to see that right there so very nice from the blade brigade and i'm not sure if we have one or two more left or not i believe there is at least one but we will see here we go sage gaffney his dad watching proudly we are still too young to compete in the pms so so Instead of doing that, we are going to train for next year by hiking Mount Tulac and snowblading down. So yeah, this is going to be pretty sick. We made it to the top. Right, so those are our videos that we have entered, and we have taken these, and we have well, the narrowed them down to like a trip through the past.
And that was a banger for that last clip. So we've narrowed them down, like I said. And what we are going to do is we're going to play the top four clips that we have. And then we will get audience participation in each one. Once the clip ends, you yell. The one that gets the loudest crowd cheers is going to be the winner of this International Snowblade Day photo and video competition. So let's cue up that for, and we don't have to play the full three minutes of the three minute videos, but we will cue it up and I will get audience cheers for each video. Let's see what our first finalist is right now. As this past year began, I didn't know if I could pull off a win at the PMS. All right, Isaac Coffin. All right, so there was some noise for Isaac, but we'll see what happens next on our next video that we have, which is just a photo, the Blade Brigade, and no cheers for stills, it sounds like. It does not sound like the audience likes still photography. And you know what? It's kind of going the wayside anyway. Everybody loves video. So let's go to our next one, Blade Brigade. Well, Hi. you lost. I'm Sage, I'm Sage Gaffney. Gaffney. Sage I'm Gaffney. And we are still, still too young. young. His dad's to not even cheering this. for him. So I'm kidding completely. Instead of doing, doing that, that, we are we gonna, are gonna train, train for next, for next year, year by hiking, hiking Mount Black and, and snowblading snow down. down. So yeah, all right. Let's make some noise for the Riley Marshall. So it was definitely between our first video and our fourth video. So Riley and our Isaac are the one, two that are gonna win, or one of them is gonna win. So let's make some noise if you want Isaac to win. Now, let's make some noise if you think Riley won. Isaac. Isaac. Riley! Boo! Are we booing Riley now? Come on! Well, it sounds like to me that Isaac is the winner, and I will tell you that Sherry McConkey wanted Isaac to win before this thing started. She told me that, and I was like, you know what? We shouldn't want anyone to win. We should just look at the videos and see who wins, but guess what? Isaac is the winner. Huh? Who is second and third? I don't care. Actually, in second place is the Riley Miller, and she is going to take second, and then third is going to be Sage right there. It's, uh, I mean, basically, it pretty much means do not submit a photo anymore, because people do not care. It's all about videos. Isaac, are you here? Isaac, we would like to get you up here to get your prize. We're going to bring everyone and Sage up here as well. We don't believe the Riley Miller is in town, but we will get in touch with her right there. So Sage with a custom pair of snowblades. Isaac, sorry. Where is Sage? All right, and now we have one final award for this evening. It's something we've never given out before because we created it this year. And unfortunately, the award's named after someone we lost, and it's always terrible when you lose someone, especially when it's someone who has so much history in Palisades, who helped change the whole sport of skiing. He ushered in a new generation of skiing, 
and Rob Gaffney was one of the true pioneers here in Palisades and what he did from writing the book of Squallywood to writing the rules for the game of NAR. He has done so many things that helped change the sport of skiing and it is so important to our community. And now, after his ski career, he went on to help kids and made sure that their mental health was in the right place. So it's an amazing thing. It's an unfortunate loss and we are all saddened by it. But Sherry, will you say a couple words about this new award? Um, so, we all know the Gaffneys, we all know how important they are to the ski community and the, the, the ski world, um, and it's a sad award, but it's, we're going to make it a happy award and we're going to do it every year. And so, the NAR award this year, um, it's hard to choose every year and it's going to, so everyone needs to do this every year, you can got to do something spectacular, whether it be dress up, whether it be do something funny, whether it be do something kind, whether it be random act of kindness. And this year we chose the award to go to our friend Andrea Piana. He's, yeah, he's uh, done so much for our foundation. He's done so much for me. He's a really kind friend. He does so much for so many charities in the world. And, um, I'm I'm honored to have him. So Andrea, I know you're here. Come up here, and Andrea, come up here to give the award. Scott's gonna give the award. Come on, we need you. Let's give it back to Mike, but thank you everyone for that. Thank you, Sherry, more than anything. And uh, Rob absolutely loved this event. As much as he was a psychiatrist, he loved letting loose. And it's all the end of NAR, the movie, where he's talking about how you need things like this to keep people have their experiences be out and to feel the most out of life. And uh, that's what Sherry's been doing, carrying on Shane's legacy, Rob's legacy as well. So. Thanks, everyone. All right. And now we're at the point where it is time for that raffle I was talking about. And I told you we had like $75,000 worth of prizes and we are gonna start giving them out in just a moment. So how this works is we do this digitally because I used to have to read all these numbers and then call people and it was really annoying. And then the internet came along and computers and now we can plug all the numbers in. They come up on a screen and we pick a winner. So we're gonna start with our first raffle prize. These kids love being on. You wanna get on the podium, kids? Yeah, get on the podium, man. It's get on the podium, it's McConkie. All three of you guys, why not, right? Don't jump and dump it down on there, just stand there though. Yeah, we got kids, and it's all about the kids. Kids, those are bubbles. All right, kids, that's enough of you. That was super fun. We enjoyed having you up here. So now, kids, it is time for the raffle, and hopefully your parents bought a lot of raffle tickets so they can give you the prizes. And if they didn't, ask, Mom, Dad, why didn't you buy raffle tickets? You don't like children? But honestly, we're gonna go to package number one. And in this package, it's bundle number one. It is a California jean bar purse, hair care basket from Kate McNeil, Ashton Honey Salon, Cahill Johnson made bag, reused McConkie banner, sun ski sunglasses, Glasses, elevate IV certificate. Wow, we've got a lot of stuff, and let's start the raffle. Kobe Nash. Kobe, if you're in here, jump up and down, and then come up front. 
Kobe Nash. The beauty of it is you win regardless. Bundle number two, a pair of banana blades. Arcade belt, Kojo Bay Yeti cup. Let a chamois gift certificate, a hundred dollars there. A saucer boy buff, crush grooving hat and buff. So you're getting a lot of stuff. Bundle number two goes to John McMurtry. All right, Johnny. Are you? Is that you? No. Uh, congratulations, man. Really nice of you to win. Now we and I don't know where these bundles are being handed out. Um, but I know it is happening probably right over there at the, the main area. So now we'll go to bundle number three. It's a Scotty Lap bundle. So a sweatshirt and a long sleeve t-shirt. Pit Viper bundle, a River Ranch $100 gift certificate, K2 inline skates. I love inline skating, I'm not gonna lie. And a day in your life photo. So you get the pair of original soft boots from K2 along with many other things and it is going to Chuck Tennant, the guy who donated to himself, has also won a raffle ticket. So Chuck putting his money where his mouth is and winning a prize. Tuck, we hope to see you blading it very soon. Now, bundle number four is the Oakley bundle. It is a helmet, goggles, and sunglasses, a fly low beanie and headband, a pair of Knox binoculars, a Tahoe Dave's Demo Day gift certificate, and a Saucer Boy buff, and that one is going to... All right, too many people for me to say, but one person wins it. It is Sarah Kowalczyk, Team Lodi, and Sarah, what do you do? You gotta dance first, so we need you to dance for a couple minutes over here. Um, yeah, on the stage would be even better. And then I don't even know what you do there, but let's throw the bubbles on her. Where does, where does Sarah need to go to get her prizes? Probably right over there. If you only knew you'd wish that you were in my shoes you just keep on All right, next up, me. bundle number five out of 22. Wow, you it's a lot of them. Up. A GoPro, a North Face trail light down sleeping bag, a pair of I Knox binoculars, and a McConkey, a McConkey Foundation rip stop hat. That is going to... Lorraine and Powers. Really do me. Lorraine Powers. Uh, me Lorian Powers. All right, Lorian Powers. Real to me. The next bundle, bundle number six. Uh, this one is a North back, Face Trail Wipe Down back, Sleeping Bag. Back, an Alpen Glow $50 gift certificate. Sun Ski Sunglasses and a McConkey Foundation Rip Stop hat. And who is the winner going to be? Robert Green. All right. Robert Green, is that you with those sunglasses? Wow, look at that, Robert. Oh my God. Robert. Can you show, can you stand up here real quick? You don't have to get on the podium, but look at those sunglasses. Some people have fashion sense and some people are Robert Green. There we go. Now we go bundle number seven. Is that correct or is it six? Bundle number seven, a GoPro, a drunken monkey $200 gift certificate, word after word bundle, Cody Townsend's book, the 50, and Peggy Townsend's book, the beautiful and the wild. So you get one book from the mother, one book from the son, plus a whole bunch of other stuff, and that is going to Thomas Persons. Do you know him? Or are you just yelling out names? I love it. Just keep yelling out the names the whole time. All right. Our next bundle. And this is bundle number eight. A Palisades Ski Pass. Palisades Yoga 10 Pack Pass. Tremingo $50 gift certificate and merch. Tahoe Dave's Demo Day gift certificate and a Saucer Boy buff. And this is going to Paul Johansson. Can you yell louder? Thank you. Thank 
you. And it looks like the back bar is going to be where you get your prizes. So if you're coming up here to get your prize, you're coming in the totally wrong direction because we need you at the back bar. So just to let you know that right now, I'm going to wet the whistle, then we'll go to our next bundle. Bundle number nine, the Grundens package. Women's boots and tote bag. Tahoe Mountain Sports $25 gift certificate. Zaz, $100 gift certificate. Knox monocular, Makaki ripped off hat, and vacation sunscreen. And that is going to Angela McKinnery. I like to yell, it's so much more fun when you yell. Maybe you'll win. If you yell, you might win. That's what the computer says. All right, bundle number 10 Peak skis with the keyhole technology. Uh, and they're by Bodie Miller, an arcade belt, a Dubliner $50 gift certificate that you can use tonight. Uh, what else are we saying here? I am got lost in my thing. Uh, sun ski sunglasses and vacation sunscreen. This one is going to Seth Berian. All right, bundle number 11. It is a Yakima Stage 2 bike rack. Jake's on the Lake $250 gift card. Arcade belts, fly low hat, and headband. And that one is going to... Emma Bryan! Emma is currently getting her pilot's license right now. Bundle number 12. We are over halfway through this $90,000 prize purse. Bundle number 12 is a pair of peak skis. It's a 98 by Bodie Miller and a Kova men's full outerwear kit from the Legacy line. McConkie merch and vacation sunscreen. That is going to Helga Herkari. You don't hear about too many Helgas these days, but we've got one in the room. Bundle number 13 now. This is a line bacon 108 set of skis, a line paintbrush adjustable set of poles, a line jacket, sweatshirt, and hats, a fly low hat and headband, a saucer boy buff, and vacation sunscreen. That one is going to Jill Shot. Holy shot, it is Jill. And she is going away with a prize. You guys didn't yell. Thank you. Bundle number 14. Another pair of those peak skis by Bodie Miller. Treetop Adventures gift certificate, McConkie merch, a Pit Viper bundle, and vacation sunscreen. This one is going to... Hey, I see Sean from Best Day. He was right in my mouth. There he is right there. But this one is going to Charles Pendrell. Thank you. We need your energy. It's really helping us out here. Uh, next up, it is Peak Skis again. Peak Skis are giving away so many skis. And I guess I've seen all the buy one, get ones. It's like, yeah, so they're giving away two today. Now we're giving away 10. Either way, we love having them out as a sponsor. And they're giving away the Peak Skis 110 by Bodie Miller, a Crest Cafe $50 gift certificate, the Dubliner $50 gift certificate, Elevate IV certificate and vacation sunscreen. So a whole lot of certificates and that is going to Hey, look at Rusty Ream up there. He's blowing kisses to the crowd. I love it Colin Robinson you're walking away with some stuff you guys know Colin. No, you don't that's fine Well Colin is single and he was looking for someone wearing pink and I don't know if that's you or not, but 
Maybe that could be part of his raffle prize as well. We're not raffling you off. I'm totally kidding. But we could if there was a price that you would accept for it. But either way, we're not going there. Bundle number 16, it is a Jones men's split board plus skins, plus a Jones men outerwear outfit, a $250 gift certificate to 5050, a McConkie ripstop hat, and vacation sunscreen. It looks like it might be pretty good tomorrow looking outside right now, but that one is going to go to Fritz Renner. So co-owner of the slot bar, he has got himself a prize right there. All right, so Fritz gets himself something. And that was bundle 15, well that was bundle 16. Now we're going to bundle 17. This one is Go figure, a pair of peak skis by Bodie Miller. Oh, no, these are by Dav, so by Chris Davenport. Switching it up a little bit. K2 inline skates by K2. Bridge tender, $50 gift certificate and hat. A Tahoe Mountain Sports gift certificate and vacation sunscreen. This one is going to go to... Parisa Nodehi. Do you want to get back up on stage real quick again? It's super fun. No, okay. Um, if you can, if you want to. Now that's you guys on TV right there. And it's live stream so you can see yourself all over the world. All right, bundle number 18. This is the Liquid Force package. I like to call it Don Wallace's package. Don who wouldn't let us shave him, his package. And let's see, it is going to be a TC Skim Surfer 56, plus a Rush CGA life jacket, small through large, plus a Wake Shaper 145, Sunny Side One Night Stay Midweek, a $200 gift certificate, Sun Ski sunglasses, an arcade belt, a McConkie ripstop hat, and vacation sunscreen. So much sunscreen, it's crazy. Let's see who's gonna get this one. Sandy Wall. Now we go to bundle number 19. I have a pair of peak skis by Chris Davenport. A Lakey Holocon light ski poles, sun ski sunglasses, an arcade belt, Elevate IV certificate, and you guessed it, vacation sunscreen. If you go on vacation, you better wear sunscreen. This goes to Vince Zona Kowalski with one of the harder names to spell. Very nice, Vince. All right, our last three bundles right now. We're gonna start it off with a vocal blaze. A 106 women's ski, marker squire bindings, a Kobo women's full outerwear kit from the Legacy line, arcade belt, pit vipers, Tremago $50 gift certificate, and vacation sunscreen. You can't go anywhere without vacation. And Carol Mendiola, did you two girls buy raffle tickets? Okay, because I do want you to win, but I also don't think you're going to. But that's just my guess. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Our Jones Snowboard package right here. It's a women's split board, this is 21, uh, plus skins. Jones women out, women's outerwear outfit. A Bridge Tender $50 gift card. A Arbor Snowboard $50 gift certificate. A McConkie Foundation ripstop hat. And yep, Lotsey's coming up here. What do you got for me, Lotsey? Last chance to bid on the auction items. Last chance to bid on the auction items, letting you know that, and we will see. So, this, this bundle number 21, this one is going to go to... Constance Trainer. So it sounds like it could be a women's name, which is great, because it's a women's package. So we love it when women win stuff for women. It works out very well that way. Now, this is our biggest, our most expensive, our highest in-demand package that you could possibly have. It is the last of the programming today. And I will tell you, 
There are a pair of Vocal Revolt 104 men's skis in there, a pair of Marker Griffin bindings, a Grundens package of men's boots and duffel bag and Gore-Tex waders, Lexicon, Lakey Lexicon, Helicon light ski poles, line sweatshirt, shirt, and beanie, an arcade belt, and you know what? Vacation sunscreen. We're gonna give you two bottles of it this time. So, yeah, not one, but two bottles of vacation. And this one is going to Sean Regan. So at this point, ladies and gentlemen, this is kind of the culmination of the McConkie PMS, and it was an incredible day, but it doesn't happen without honoring the man, the myth, the legend, Shane McConkie. And I think we should start or end this how we started it. I'll do one, two, three. We all yell, thank you, Shane. So here we go. One, two, three. Thank you, Shane. All right, I'm Mike Powell. That's DJ Rusty Reams on the Wheels of Steel. And this is the McConkie PMS. Thank you, everyone, for coming again. Exactly. 